It's a free space. Hey everybody, welcome back to Aubrey Scott Productions, in which I'm starting a brand new game show run here, peeps. It's the 1998 PC version of Jeopardy, which I know Ready Unknown Fox will appreciate. Am I right? Am I right, Jay? Everything's good. Here we go. Hi, folks. Normal game. Okay, so how many people are out there? We'll just add two computer players. Player one, what's your name? Player one has the space bar. All right, let's Here go. You. Yes. Here goes. Literary hodgepodge. Movie trivia. 1990s theater. Business biggies. State capitals. And here's the final category. Animals. All right. Go ahead, player one. Animals 100. With its black spots, this fastest land mammal may be mistaken for a leopard. What is a Player cheetah? One? That's correct. Animals for 200. Player one, your turn. The condor is a bird, and the conger is one of these. What's a fish? Player one. Good guess, but that's... Oh, good. no. Player three. What is an eel? An eel. That's right. All right. This... Very slow creature can turn its head 270 degrees, likes to hang upside down, and is three toed. What's a sloth? Correct. Back on the plus side, animals 400. Most of the world's lemurs live on this island off Africa's east coast. What is Madagascar? You are correct. Animals for 500. The silvery blue, the spring azure, and the common oak blue are blue wing types of this beautiful insect. It's a butterfly. Yes, indeed. Business Biggie's 100. Called Big Blue, it controlled nearly 80% of the computer market in the 1960s and 1970s. What is IBM? Player one, you are correct. Business Biggie's for 200. Player one. This world's largest car rental company grew out of a Chicago concern with 12 Model T's. What is brakes? Good guess, but that's wrong. Oh, well. Player two? What is Hertz? Yeah. That's correct. HSY is the New York Stock Exchange symbol for this confection. What is Hershey's? Player one? Yes. Business Biggie's 400. In 1986, Capital Cities bought this television network for $3.5 billion. What is ABC? Yes. This is Biggie's 500. Hercules, a Delaware-based chemical maker, spun off from this company in 1912. What is DuPont? Yes. Literary Hodgepodge 100. He did his own illustrations for Just So Stories. Player one. Who is Rudyard Kipling? Yes. Literary Hodgepodge 200. What'll it be, player one? Once a naval historian in the South Pacific, he won a Pulitzer Prize for Tales of the South Pacific. Who is James Fishner? That's right. Larry Hodgepodge for 300, please. 
The title of the novel Brave New World comes from a line spoken by Miranda in this Shakespeare play. Player two, what is The Tempest? That was my guess, but I wasn't yes. sure. This hit musical, based on a Disney film, features magical special effects and Tony-winning costumes. Player one. What is Beauty and the Beast? To be sure. Nice to die, Theater for 200. In 1996, Lou Diamond Phillips began reigning on Broadway in this Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. What is The King and I? Yes, indeed. Nice to die, Theater for 300. This 1993 musical starred Bernadette Peters in the title role played on film by Marsha Mason. What is the goodbye girl? Player one. Correct. 1990 Theater 400. Player one, what'll it be? In 1997, Liza Minnelli returned to Broadway, filling in for Julie Andrews in this musical. Player one. What is Victor Victoria? That's correct. 1990 Theater for 500. This show, a celebration of dance, music, and song from Ireland, made its U.S. debut in 1996 to sold-out crowds at Radio City Music Hall. What is what? River Dance? That's correct. Literary Hodgepodge for 400, please. In 1991, the University of Alabama awarded this To Kill a Mockingbird author an honorary Doctor of Letters degree. Who is Harper Lee? Yes. Three hodgepodge, five hundred. Daily double. Um, six hundred. His Bowdoin College classmate Horatio Bridge subsidized the publication of his twice-told tale. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Nathaniel Hawthorne, but I only lose six hundred dollars, so that's okay. Movie trivia, one hundred. Before directing and acting in Citizen Kane. He provided narration for 1940s Swiss Family Robinson. Who is Orson Welles? Yes! Movie Trivia 200. One. Gene Kelly's first on-screen pairing with this dance rival was in Zigfield Follies in 1946. Who is Fred right Astaire? That's right. Movie Trivia 300. The Royal Ballet's Antoinette Sibley appeared in this 1977 Herbert Ross film about ballet. What's the turning point? Correct. Movie trivia 400. He played Elvis Trainer in Kid Galahad a dirty dozen years before he starred in Death Wish. Who is Charles Bronson? Correct. Movie trivia for 500. Monty Woolley, this composer's friend from Yale days, appeared as himself in Night and Day. Uh, who's Cole Porter? Yes. Stay couples 100. One of the highlights of this city is the Nelson A. Rockefeller Empire State Plaza. What is Albany? Correct. 200. All right, player one. In the 1830s, it replaced Vandalia as Illinois' capital. What is Springfield? That's it. 300. This capital city was home to the NHL Whalers. 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 Oh. Who are they? Hartford. Yeah, Hartford, Connecticut. 400. Player one, you choose. Gettysburg Battlefield is located about 35 miles southwest of this capital. What is Harrisburg? Yes. Now the last clue. This city in the Green Mountains is home to the New England Culinary Institute. What is Montpelier? Correct. $6,500 at the end of the Jeopardy That's round. to the end of this round. Player one, now you're showing off. All right, it's time for Double Jeopardy. Let's see if you like these categories in the Double Jeopardy round. 1990s movies, famous Americans, modern art and artists, world history, Wisconsin.
and to complete the board, sports women. Here we go. All right, player three. This liquid accounts for a majority of income on the state's farms. What is milk? One. That's it. Wisconsin for 400. This city is home to the Pabst Theater and Pabst Mansion. What is Milwaukee? Yes. Wisconsin for 600. Wait, wait, your turn. This capital city is the state's second most populous. What is Madison? Player one. That's right. Wisconsin for 800. New Glarus was settled by immigrants from this country's canton of Glarus. What is Switzerland? You are correct. Wisconsin for a thousand. This state nickname was first used for Wisconsin lead miners who dug their homes in hillsides. What is the Badger State? That's correct. I'll go famous Americans for 200. Arriving in Australia from the Philippines in 1942, he said, I came through and I shall return. Who is Douglas Hello. MacArthur? Right you are. Famous Americans for 400. This architect's Imperial Hotel in Tokyo wrote out the 1923 earthquake because of its floating design. Who is, um, their I am payer Frank, Frank Lloyd Wright, right? Who is I am pay? No. That is incorrect. My butt! He said it, Jay! Who is Frank Lloyd That is incorrect. My butt! Is incorrect. <laughs> this CEO of Occidental Petroleum was a co owner of New York City's Nodler Gallery. Player three. Who is Armand Hammer? That's correct. Yes, Video is. Daily Double. Player three. Your wager, please. In the 1840s, this frontiersman guided John C. Fremont's three expeditions into the West. Here's your clue. Take a look. I hope you get it wrong. Who is Kit Carson? Wrong. Correct. Oh, it was? In the Federalist number 50, oh, well. he put forth a case for the separation of powers and a system of checks and balances. Player two. Who is James Madison? Yes. In 447, he and his band of Huns devastated the area between the Mediterranean and Black Seas. Who is Attila? Correct. World History 400. Amerigo Vespucci provided supplies for this man's second voyage of exploration in 1493. Who is Christopher Columbus? That's right. World history for 600. Player one, what'll it be? In 331 BC, the Greek and Macedonian armies under this general conquered the Persians. Who is Alexander the Great? You are correct. World history for 800. This emperor of the Aztecs presented Hernan Cortez with rich gifts, believing he was the god Quetzalcoatl. Player two, who is Montezuma? Correct. This actor directed and narrated 1992's A River Runs Through It. Who is Robert Redford? Yes. 1990's movies for 400. In this 1994 Woody Allen film, John Cusack plays a playwright who gets mixed up with the mob. When it's bullets over Broadway. You are correct. 1990's movies for 600. The romance and affair to remember figured prominently in this 1993 Tom Hanks film. From Sleepless in Seattle. Player one. Correct. That's movie's 800. <laughs> okay, contestant one. <laughs> Mel Gibson won an Oscar for directing himself as Scottish hero William Wallace in this epic. What is Braveheart? Yes. That's movie's 1000. This 1994 prison film with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman was based on a Stephen King tale. What is the Shawshank Redemption? Yes. Roll history a thousand. This Union Ironclad was launched at Greenpoint, New York, 
January 30th, 1862. How the heck am I supposed to know this? I don't remember. Nope! What is the Norfolk? You fail! That is incorrect. My butt! Said it again, Jay! Here is the correct response. The monitor. Modern Art Artist 200. You choose. Like Mark Chagall, hey Jay, he said it again. Left Russia for Germany, then went on that to is incorrect. My butt. My butt. What is Paris? Hey Ben. Modern Art Artist 400. Turn this surrealist swan um, there's going to be a slight an elephant head. change into tonight's astronaut lineup. Oh yeah? What would that be? Piet Mondrian was one of the contenders. <laughs> To this low country's art My cable studio, box died. Uh oh. Oh, play one. Oh, so, right. we're gonna have to stop on my phone tonight. Time. All right. So, you have to visit MoMA to see his Christine. And I can't have that anyone call. Where so, to? Who is Andrew Wyatt? All right. That's it. Well, the game's almost That's over on my side, so. Was an all American high school back. How did that happen, Ben? Age 16. I have no idea. Player one? Correct. And I called Charter and one. I told him what's going on. I'm gonna make it a true daily double. Maria Bueno won 12 Grand Slam doubles crowns in this sport in spite of a long bout with hepatitis. Let's tennis. Yes, indeed. Fourth woman, 600. In September 1995, this American figure skater married her agent, Jerry Solomon. Yes. Player one. So. Correct. In 1992, she became the first winner of back-to-back -back Olympic gold medals in the heptathlon. Jackie Jordan Percy. Player one. Fourth one in a thousand. Player one, it's your turn. In 1984, Joan Benoit became the first female Olympic gold medalist in this race. What is the marathon? That's it. That's clue. In 1968, this artist was shot by a former member of his factory. Who's Andy Warhol? Player one. Why, yes. $33,200 at the end of Double Jeopardy. That takes us to the end of this round. This is a no-brainer, unless someone pulls a Clavin. Which I don't plan to do. Take a look so, at the category. Yeah, my next died out. Historic Americans. They're gonna come tomorrow morning to fix it, at least. Or oh, give Here's me an the upgrade. Final Jeopardy answer. I see the one, the two. A statue of him says at Yale's Connecticut Hall. A copy can be found at CIA headquarters in Virginia. Who is, uh... Jay York! Who is on the call? Player two, let's take a look at Me, Corey, and Jay, and Nick. Oh, sorry. That's not correct. How much did it cost you? Sometimes, you get a tough one. Player three, let's take a look at your question. Oh, that's not right. I'm sorry. Your wager? Oh, I guess it's just not. I said who is Jay York, even though I know I'm wrong. Your question, player one. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost you? Just two hundred dollars. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. So I dropped it thirty-three thousand dollars, but that's okay. Here is the correct response. Oh, Nathan Hale. That's right. Great game. Thank you all so much for playing Jeopardy. $33,000. Out of here already? We'll see you again on our next game of Jeopardy. Not bad. On $33,000 in my first game in this all-new run.
guys. All right, Jay. Bye.